And hello everybody, how are you doing? It's a good day today, and we're going to continue with more open foam. That's right, you heard it guys, open foam. And today, <coughs> we want to look into some of the basic uh, you know, flow regimes. So, understand that open foam is pretty annoyingly hard to learn. Documentation may not be so uh, user friendly, especially for those uh, using Ubuntu, Linux, uh, Bash for the first time, and you haven't used CFD before. So this video, well, I want to start by exploring some of the simpler cases. So we'll go through some of the, uh, you know, uh, flow scenarios we usually. Uh, encounter in undergraduate fluid mechanics because these are things they're very familiar we are very familiar with so in our last video uh, we've already talked about how to use the all run and all clean tutorial files so we should have uh, some of these tutorials uh, inside our folder with uh, let's say the usual all clean and all run kind of a uh, setting okay so that's the heat conduction example so today I want to go into one of the very simple one of the most simple flows we uh, kind of encounter this is called a couette flow or flow between parallel plates it's a very uh, common undergraduate uh, flow regime it's one of the first you will be ex uh, you'll be exposed to. So let's take a look at Kuwait flow. So you see Kuwait flow? We have this uh, uh, boundary plate that's moving to the left, to the right. And there is some shear stress. So we know that the profile should look something like this with a flat plate at the bottom and a moving plate on top. That's like Kuwait flow. Uh, classic Kuwait flow. And then there will be a linear velocity profile and one of the most uh, the closest thing we have uh, the closest thing we have to um, in open form tutorial files to this is the lip driven cavity flow now this is the open form version 6 tutorial but uh, the tutorial uh, documentation <coughs> but you'll serve just as well for open form v1812 so on top we have uh, for this uh, cavity file we have this uh, wall that's going to the right and one meter a second and again the right the left the right side the bottom the bottom and the left are all closed walls so we want to get rid of these closed walls and also transform this into like an open boundary kind of a thing so we're going to explore in the next few videos how to do that so first we want to take a look at our original cavity file oops cavity see the cavity let's list the files there oh yeah so unfortunately as you can see we have uh, already run our cavity file and we want kind of want to clean it up now there are two ways we can go about doing this firstly we can actually copy the original cavity file from our tutorials folder but if you want to keep doing that it's going to be very annoying so what we want to do is perhaps make our own all clean script so Let's make an all clean script. All right. Well, we don't know what's inside going to be inside an all clean. So I'm just going to escape and press colon WQ to save this file. Now it's a text file or a VI file, whatever you call it. It's a text file of that sort. And you see that it's not highlighted green yet. So if you take a look, and let's say this uh, icofoam tutorials you see that this all clean and all run files these are uh, 
how would you say yeah um, they are essentially green in color which means they are able to be executable now, if they are executable then that's not a problem and that's what we want and we don't know how to type an all clean uh, bash kind of a script so these are bash scripts which make our life easier when running open form so let's take a look into the contents of one of these all clean files okay wow this looks very foreign doesn't it so you have uh, hashtags here and we have all these things that we're not that sure of the syntax yet <coughs> so probably the first thing you'll probably want to do is with all good programming uh, newbies we copy the whole thing and then we go and paste and then we see what happens so this is just you know experimenting yeah so okay let's uh, just delete everything first I want to go into insert mode because if you put, use the replace mode you might not uh, get all the things pasted there so anyway we have a uh, hashtag exclamation mark all of this now the first thing you might wonder is that why why doesn't it turn into like a blue kind of color okay that's one of the strange things that we notice so let's try running all clean as we did before and bash tells you that the permission is denied so what do you need to do uh, if, if you do a quick Google search you'll notice that people often use this uh, thing called a ch mod 755 and then you will type your script name down there see if it's a permission denied then you will need to change mod this actually changes the permissions so I just got it from this tutorial you can search it online anytime so it's uh, not that difficult okay so what do we do with our bash case we have to change mod ch mod 755 now we don't know what that does that's okay We'll just do it to our all clean and see what happens. Now you see that that all clean has become green in color. Now let's try running that all clean again. Okay, what does it tell you? All clean. 10 CD can't, it can't change directory to cavity, cavity grid, cavity clipped. Uh, why is this happening? Well, if you look in your original. Uh, original file if you look into your original file you see that this all clean script was meant to be run with all these files over here so you're gonna write this all clean so you see you you clean the cases from cavity cavity grid cavity clipped and then you remove these two cases so this kind of all clean, clean script is meant for you know this directory with multiple uh, files inside so what's the next best option well if you uh, uh in our last video we have already seen that every case has a it has its own all clean script so maybe we can you know copy and paste some things from that all clean script so let's go to hit conduction for example let's look at its all clean script ah now this looks much simpler well the first two lines are very similar or first three this is a hashtag and these hashtags represent a that you can use it to do comments and it says change directory something 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 dot bin tool something 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 uh, you don't know what that means that's okay but it seems that uh, for just now and now these two first two commands are the same and then it tells it to clean case with a capital C in the case 
and then it says remove rm field view something 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 now i don't know what this is but clean case seems like the command we need to execute okay the command we need to execute for cleaning the case all right so let's go back to the cavity file and let's check our custom made all clean script now we don't know what all this is doing it looks very complicated but we know at the end of the day that it's going to change uh, I mean the original uh, ICO foam folder is going to clean everything up so we don't need all of this and we also know that uh, hashtag means comment so when you comment something it just becomes like not operative so let's just comment away these files okay. dump, 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 dump. so we don't delete all the time we just say it comments so we're gonna comment here this was the original clean or all clean uh, script for ICO foam cases. So as you notice, the first three lines are pretty much the same. So this is a hashtag this, this, and this. Okay. So we just need to type in clean case. Okay. Then we exit. So we kind of have a rough idea what clean case does. But you know we are not that sure what it does so this is just to help us learn and experiment how to write our own scripts okay so let's try all clean after we ch mod the thing it's made it executable um, <coughs> so we just type that and then it says oh cleaning case now that looks very useful it looks like we have uh, successfully done our thing so let's uh, list the thing down and we voila we see that uh, our case has been uh, very successfully cleaned uh, by our all clean script so mission accomplished at least the part one of it now we have a clean cavity case and we want to start uh, modifying our boundary conditions to match that of a cuvette flow so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye